Good morning, children. In this lesson, we will learn about methods of cleaning water. Water is essential for all the living things. We cannot live without water, right? Can you tell how much of the earth's surface is land and how much is water? So, how much water do we have? The surface of the earth consists of 70% water and 30% land. The oceans, sea, rivers, lakes, etc. constitute the water bodies. So, 70% of the earth is covered by water. That is 326 million trillion gallons. That's a lot of water. Then why do we say water is scarce and we should not waste it? Here is the reason. In this huge amount of water that is available, only 2.5% of the water is fresh and useful. That is painfully less, isn't it? What about the rest of it? The rest is saline water. That is, it contains dissolved salts. Saline water is not portable, that is, it cannot be used for drinking or cooking, etc. Do you know? The water you see today has been around as long as the earth has? Have you ever thought why there is a need to clean water? What makes the water dirty? Let us look into this in detail. The rainwater flows in the river and catches mud, stones and other impurities. The dirty water from the bathrooms and toilets flows into the drain which is called sewage. This also mixes into rainwater. Some factory wastes also contain poisonous harmful chemicals which are released in the river and polluted. Pesticides and other chemicals from the farms flow into the river and pollute it. We cannot drink polluted water as it contains harmful bacteria which can cause many diseases. The insoluble impurities can be removed by a few methods. First, let us look at a simple process called sedimentation. In this method, we keep the water undisturbed for some time. The insoluble particles settle down at the bottom leaving the clear water on the top. This process is called sedimentation and the insoluble particles settled at the bottom are called sediments. The clean water obtained from the earlier process of sedimentation is then poured into another container. The sediments are left behind. This is known as decantation. Some insoluble impurities keep floating on the surface of the water. How do we remove them? Let us see another method for it. The impure water is poured into another container through the filter cloth. So, what is filter? The filter has tiny holes through which water passes but impurities are left behind. This process is known as filtration. How do we remove soluble impurities? Soluble impurities like salt cannot be removed by the method shown earlier like sedimentation or filtration as they get dissolved in the water. Let us see a method to remove soluble impurities. In this process, we boil the water. The water evaporates to become water vapor. The salt is left behind. This process of changing water into water vapors is called evaporation. Now, how do we collect the water vapor? The evaporated water that is water vapor is then cooled down or condensed in a jar to get pure water. This process of evaporation and condensation is called distillation. 
Distillation consists of two steps. Step number one, evaporation. In this step, the water is evaporated into steam in a distillation flask. Step number two, condensation. In this step, the water vapor is converted into water by passing it through the condenser. Condenser is kept cool by circulating cold water. Water formed this way is purest and is called distilled water. Boiling is another simple method to remove the germs from the water. Do you know how do you get clean drinking water at home? The water reaching our homes is first cleaned in town water works before it is supplied to our homes. The following processes are used. Sedimentation. Water is first allowed to stand in large sedimentation tanks where the large insoluble particles settle down at the bottom. Filtration. Water is then filtered through sand beds where small insoluble particles are filtered. Chlorination. Chlorine is added in water to kill the germs. Here you can see chlorination process in a town water supply plant. The purified water is then carried in the underground pipes and taps to our homes. The water which is suitable for drinking is called portable water. So, a lot of work needs to be done before the portable water reaches our home. As we saw, for removing soluble impurities, we can use sedimentation, decantation and filtration methods. For removing soluble impurities, we can use the distillation process. What are the ways of purifying or cleaning water at our homes? Here, we can see methods of cleaning water used in our homes. The simplest method is by boiling. Water purification is also done by adding some chemicals like chlorine to kill the germs. Nowadays, various small filtration machines are also used at home to purify the water for drinking. Water is very precious for all living things. We should not waste water.